Association of Osaka Kado, Japan Art and Flower, Kado. Ikebana is traditional Japanese culture. I've already put white nandina, or heavenly bamboo here. On the way in, people can see red and white, the congratulatory colors in Japan. Since we won't water this tomorrow, the yellow berries will pop, revealing a beautiful red color. This Japanese wild cucumber is cutely shaped like a watermelon, don't you think? Now in November, leopard plant is the most beautiful. I'll place it with the leaves hiding the pot. There are many types of leopard plant leaves. This one is mottled with white and this with pale green. This plant has about five types of leaves and this time we're using two of them. Is it starting to look like a garden? Cast iron plant fans out. It's mottled and striped. While I was prepping the flowers, I noticed many tall ones. As I was cutting, it started looking like a mountain. I added cup bamboo and other plants. It's stunning. Feel Japanese style. And then move on to the other pieces. Red and white nandina gives it a festive feel, along with leopard plant which is in season in November. Place by the feet for a natural look. There's cut bamboo and oriental bittersweet above. This will pop and turn beautifully red tomorrow. I think it's nice to put the wind orchid here. The exposed roots grow upwards naturally, nourished by the tree and the air. It's an interesting plant that grows well. I planted this orchid here and it has grown to this size in five years. In early summer, it blooms pretty white orchids. Ardesia is also called Juryo or Hyakuryo, an old gold currency. The red berry cluster is cute. So I brought the whole moss and planted it here. Those flowers are a slightly different shape. The blossoms around here are pointed. Their color is the same yellow, but it's interesting that the petals have a bit of a different shape. We'd like to share the healing power of flowers. 